but I can't keep moving. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Do, do, do. Change my background to dicks. Do, check, check, <laughs> but, Buckets down on the farm. Hey, everybody, this is the Cred Campaign over here on Murder Hobo Inc. Twitch. Of course, if you're already watching this on Twitch, you already know that we're here. Uh, chances are that you've already followed us, but are you following us on Twitter? Absolutely. Yes, you are. Of course, you are, because it's a wonderful thing to do. Unfortunately, I generally have things memorized in a spiel, and I totally jumped off my spiel, so I don't remember yeah. everything else on that. Hold on, hold on. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Yeah, YouTube archives. Uh, oh, shoot. Yeah, no, I did it again where I got off the spiel. You can check out our YouTube archives if you want to check out the last episode of Cred, catch up on that, or see what a calamity I turned this show into by not being on the calamity campaign. Uh -huh. ah, ah, ah. Um, gosh, here we go. There we go. Now, some of you may notice that I only have two of my players, and you might be thinking, "Ah, oh, that Kyle, he's stalling for time, isn't he?" Screw you. You have no proof, no evidence. Go away. But if you really want to talk about it, you can go over to our Discord channel, uh, hit us up there, or if you're interested in joining a game and replacing one of my two absent players who I may be looking to replace. Hey, you're not replacing you don't Brand. Hurry up. <laughs> you're not replacing Brand. You can hit us up over at mhoboinc at gmail.com or on Twitter. We're, we're always open to whoever wants to join in uh, uh, to replace Caitlin and, and DJ. No. Okay, there you go. I was just waiting for the response. Guys, we also have some wonderful, awesome merchandise in the store for you. If you need shower curtains, if you need a back scrubber, a loofah, toilet paper, phone cases, and condom packages. Um, the last one lets you know that you're a really classy guy. And finally, before I forget, we'd like to thank our sponsors pirate dog dice uh for when you're rolling like shit like my players often do pirate dog dice that's the dice that makes them roll that bad what? uh no if you are a dm just make sure that when you ask for the dice you label that you're a dm and you'll get the ones that roll 20s all the time uh <laughs> then special order the player dice for your players and that'll be fine but guys if your game stinks let me tell you about adventure sense you can get wonderful smells like roads putrid sewers um and then some really unpleasant ones like taverns and libraries all that stuff that nobody really likes then of course they have the shine project if you're writing up a story or if you're trying to come up with kind of a storyline for your D, D game i suggest the shine project they have good questions that ask you the questions that you didn't think to ask yourself why didn't you think to ask yourself why is there a question mark over my head, but it's facing the wrong way? <laughs> Those are the kind of questions you'll get. And finally, before I forget, less than two weeks away, mur wait, less than two weeks away, Murder Hobocon, Murder Hobocon, two weeks away on Sunday, August 1st, starting at noon, going to midnight and uh essentially after that we'll just do murder hobo con for the rest of the year no worries you ever have your players look at you quietly not responding and it makes you think have i been on mute this entire time i've responded at once i know but you're so quiet and it's so no. dead it's like oh man what's kyle going to say next that's really going to screw anything i said we would banter and make time for dj or caitlin to show up there's no banter i'm not looking at the what? stream what do you want i mean we can play i've played games with one gm and me as the player i mean it actually was one of my favorite games so <laughs> it was unbelievable and now you're putting me on a pedestal it's yeah like hey this is my yeah, best you game have, well, you gotta get up here now yeah you you have to, yeah you've got something to reach for man <laughs> oh, I hate you, Ernie. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> 
<laughs> what this is, is why chat is private. Why is he? Oh, you're writing private stuff. Oh no. Oh, hurry. So, Anya, your <laughs> character is standing at the bar next to an open window with an excellent sight to the rooftops across the street. Am uh, I? I don't know. I know it's I entered the bar. Message. Don't worry I, about that. What? Oh. Oh, he's oh, so Riley's p private messaging you. I see how this works. Yeah. Do you think I'm you not loved. Messages? I'm not loved. All no, right. I don't get private messages. Guys, uh, as I said earlier, we have two of our players missing at the moment. Uh, we hope to have them join in at some point. We are missing uh, uh, wonderful Caitlin, uh, uh, who is playing Cleo, the sorceress of the divine soul type. She has been off and about searching for magical items uh, while she has been gone here. Our other player, DJ, who we hope maybe to have in about an hour or so, uh, uh, is currently being the town doctor and is being called away on some very, very important things, uh, as well as taking care of the uh, terribly injured and inured. Uh, inured might be the wrong word, but I'm going to go with it because it sounds smart. And I'm smart. Question mark? <laughs> hey, it it's came also, back to bite me in the back you know what it's also a yellow question mark which means you're going to give us a quest that that's right or actually so that's the completion straight. that's no we're going to complete a quest and give it to you that's what it is i bet it has something right? to do with that in a good way guys don't worry about it they're crazies i like them though <laughs> they, they're my kind of crazy you're crazy now, I'm not saying you can gather an army of FET worshippers to your cause, but... He's so totally saying. going to... But yeah. I still gonna... haven't talked to the priests of Light yet. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to both sides before I make a decision. <laughs> that is an excellent, excellent point. I would maybe, be interested in that. Maybe too. we can uh, make a little theological civil war right here in Farzine. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? And that we'll have the two sides blow each other up, and then Bran will just take over, you know, with the Raven Queen. Yep. Uh, that's we'll how that works. We'll just flip Tyler, this whole thing to a Tyler, Raven are you Queen. taking notes? We're going to flip this to a <laughs> total Raven Queen stronghold. Yep, yep, yep. That's, that's, that's... I'm All right. sure Bran would Raven not have done it. Since Kyle isn't doing it, let's do introductions. Yeah, so, my, like, name is Ernest. <laughs> my name is Ernest, and I'm playing Riley, the uh, warlock. And uh, last episode, if you're paying attention, Riley learned that his little tablet can absorb uh, writing and keep it inside of it. And he's really excited. Now he's going to find all the literature in the world. Um, Anja? Oh, boy. So Hi, everyone. My real name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter who just started her own stream on uh, muses underscore touch on Twitch. Uh, you can see all the details there or on my uh, Twitter page uh, times when the stream's running. And uh, in, this, in this campaign, though, I'm playing Anja Jaeger, my half elven. Anja Jaeger. I almost said half elven bard. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's the last campaign if she wasn't half elven. Uh, no, it's my half elven ranger uh, who just walked into a bar after being sent there by, I believe it was the captain. Was it not? No. No, who was it? To, oh, shit. I wrote it down probably. Who gets sent me to this? Uh, let me do this because I actually. Oh, no, the blacksmith's white. The blacksmith's white. Beatrice. 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 Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So she sent me to this bar to say, get a drink there. And somehow the bartender knows my name before I said anything to him about who I was. So there's that. Oh my. So it's kind of a good thing we're all split up because at least we can probably resolve some personal business without people having to sit there and be bored about it. Literally and figuratively. Mm. Resolve. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, real quick. Who do you want to start with? Before I forget, 
I I have to tell you something. Uh, last week, uh, I was absolutely as a DM. I was absolutely befuddled. I'm bantering again now. Completely befuddled on. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, we want to play. I mean, I know you want to play. We got people watching. There is a point to be made, though. Go I ahead. had to stop myself and say, "Why in the world were these? Why were the players completely obsessed with trying to find the magistrate?" Why did they think he was lost and missing and stuff? You said he was missing. And I realized I said he was missing. Yes. But <laughs> what I meant to say is that they were performing duties along the island and were missing not in the city currently. And so I just wanted to add that right there. Because as I was watching and thinking about last time, I was completely befuddled why you were obsessed. And yeah. I realized I said the wrong thing. So I wanted to clarify on the stream uh, uh, that the magistrate is missing from the city, but not presumed missing from See, the island. I, did... I, I think you already clarified that last time because that's think... what you said in my notes. You know that, what? That, I think you, you know what? Right. You, you are the just... only one who takes notes, Ernie. Okay. <laughs> no, I, that's that's not true. But I take my notes are more like a personal journal. Oh wow, the color's wrong. It's killing my. I I have a journal here, <laughs> uh, but it's all just Anja notes. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's just from strictly her perspective. So. I keep notes of all. He's things. keeping notes of the entire campaign. He's our war keeper for Ubo sure. Ubo Sathla requests. But so. no, I do actually remember that. And I kind of was like, but you said he was missing. So I was a little, I was missing, a little confused. Missing from the city. So I wanted to okay. clarify that. When so, DJ gets here and Brand gets here, you can clarify for that. If for he gets, is it if he makes it? I mean, there's a chance he may not make it either. Okay, so, so we'll see. Honestly, there's only two of you tonight, so I will be happy to start with either of you. Pick one. <laughs> Where uh, can I find odds more books? Or even. I mean, Where I... can I actually? I want to talk to the priest of light. I, I already rolled the dice for you. It's me, man. Oh, it's yeah. you. All right, right. He, can, he can. He can. He can go. He can go first. Sure, yeah, absolutely. So I have uh, finished realizing my new tablet's powers since mm -hmm. last time when it absorbed both the letter and the bestiary. Uh, and I'm amazed by this. But as I calm down, I uh, decide to go talk to the Priests of Light because I was told about them and they sound interesting now. So I'm going to make my way over there. Sure. Uh, you make your way uh, up onto the main street and you head towards, I mean, what would assumedly be the obvious gathering place. Yeah. The statue of the goddess of light. And you get there, you enter the main town. <clears throat> and it's this strange thing where as you get closer to the statue, the smaller it seems. You know, when you first crested the hill, when you first kind of got out of the jungle and saw the lady from, uh, from uh, over the wall, it was absolutely towering, say a hundred feet tall. But as you approach... It seems no more than 20, 15 feet tall. Right when you get up to the feet of it. And sure enough, there are uh, a priest and a priestess to the Statue of Light. Good tidings, good morrow. A blessed day to you. And um, the individuals are just bowing as they get these blessings and they continue on their day, dropping in a couple of copper pieces here and there. Um, cool. I, uh, I approach them and I introduce myself as uh, Riley, a, a, a traveler and scholar. And uh, because of my scholarly nature, I'm, I'm quite interested in learning more about the religion if they're uh, willing to talk about it. Well, of course. What, what what can we tell you about our wonderful goddess, the protector of our fair city, and of course, those sailors who go past our island? Well, I uh, I guess can you start from the beginning? I, I really don't know what your goddess is all about. I would love to understand more about the the teachings and and really what your religion holds dear. 
You would want to know that, wouldn't you? Of course. Of course. Because I think I have the idea of understanding what the uh, fat guys like. So now I need to understand what these people like and see which one I want to want to join or, I mean, uh, learn more about. Well, you see, the lady is just simply a protector here on the island. Uh, when we came here long ago, she... The seas were rough. It was difficult. The volcano would blast and frequently erupt, spilling lava down. But it was Our Lady, the Goddess of Light, who who protects us and who brought sailors safely to our shores. We've been here since oh, quite a long period of time, and the prosperity you see around us is truly to the Goddess of Light, for if we did not worship her, we would be lost. That's interesting. Um... So just wondering who has been here at the island longer, uh, the, the Order of the Light here or the Priests of Fet up on the mountain? Hmm. Give me an insight roll for me. I, I, I'm trying to instigate things, but in a really like peaceful way. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, insight. Let's see. Because 15. 15. I, I was hoping that they would be like, of course we were here longer. But... <laughs> <laughs> does that really matter? The goddess is not jealous and does not say who claims what first. All that she cares about is protecting all of us here. Wow. That, that seems actually very good of her. Um, wow. Uh, it was nice talking to you. I, I really appreciate the information. And... Uh, I want to slip away and, and uh, see if there's any more of them hanging around somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, you start walking around the city. And strangely enough, you don't see too many more uh, priests. You see a lot of shrines to uh, Fet, uh, the god of the volcano Kaza, um, and in windows, you're more likely to see um, shrines to uh, the goddess of light, and make a couple of oh, uh, make a perception check for me, please. Okay. 18. 18? Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, yeah, you're walking around, you're searching for these priests, priestesses of light, and you end up running across more, more brown robes, volcano. A few of them even have burned a volcano scar onto their uh, uh, forehead. Um, but... Uh, as far as the priest, priest of light, you don't see them. The windows, uh, you see shrines to the goddess of light. And everywhere you walk, it's strange. But there is not a single window in this entire place that doesn't face the goddess of light in some direction. It's almost like this entire city was built to look or to have the light from the goddess come in. There's no windows facing the volcano. It's all facing out towards the sea, the goddess of light. Um, but it's eerie that nothing faces out towards the volcano. And as you realize this, give me a dread saving throw, please. Dread? Mm -hmm. uh, Yog Sothri? Wisdom. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh... Ha! Seven. <laughs> oh, <shit. sighs> 
just after I get rid of the last dread point. Just as long as you get rid of yours, yeah. I I, I think this is my first dread point. I was sitting, no, I was, I, you didn't, oh, did you make all your saves before? Yeah, I think I have. Wow. I, I don't, let's see, hold on. Dread. Well, Let's it's see. bound to happen. Uh, Andre and Brand roll dread. Oh, I, I, we both, both of Andre and Brand have taken plenty of dread. Yeah, uh, Brand gets three levels of dread and now four levels of dread. Yeah, Brand staggered. I think Brand, the most Brand, I ever Brand. took was one. Um, Riley passed. Wow. Huh. Yeah, you've done really good so far, Riley. Oh, not, this is not great. now. <laughs> I'm I'm ready for a little insanity here. Come on. He's the one that's been <laughs> It's gotta be a lot it. worse, unfortunately. You have two levels of dread right now. Do you carry your belongings with you? Everything on me. Okay. In actuality, you are only suffering from one level of dread, but you do have two. Uh oh, so nice. disturbed, spooked. And this is more of a general feeling, but there is something off with that volcano. And if you want to try to actually start climbing up the volcano again, that's where you're going to have more difficulty. But you're going to hold on to this for a little while. Oh, okay. sh- um, I, I uh, actually want to face my fear after we're done with Anja. So I may like try to learn more about why the windows are facing away from the volcano and 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 uh just ponder it a little bit as a scholar i, I figured it's because they don't like each other so they don't want to look at each other well this these are the windows of the buildings it's like the entire town is built to look away from the volcano and kind of towards the water the the priest of or the statue of light so it's weird yeah, it's it weird. is. It's all sketchy yeah. and weird. This place is sus as fuck. So, Miss Yeager. Why the hell did we come here? Allow me to get you a drink. And we find ourselves back at the bar uh, at the Cava's Respite, where, Miss Yeager, you are looking across the bar at a glistening, curly-haired horns, uh, and judging by the the behind-the-bar goat hooves of a gentleman smiling at you as the Cheshire cat smiles at the rat. (laughs) I'm playing it close to the chest, uh, or close to the vest. Uh, I'm not letting on that I picked up on that. Beatrice does have a tab here, and I'll make sure I put this drink on it. And he sets before you uh, half a coconut filled with a steaming brown liquid. I sniff it. What does it smell like? It is pungent. Alcoholic pungent or something else? Uh, you ever have uh, that kombucha where it's fermented uh, drink? No? No, I don't drink a lot. So Don't drink. Well, I don't think no. it's actually alcoholic or it's oh. necessarily alcoholic. <coughs> uh, uh, but this indeed, uh, there's that little sniff to alcohol where it kind of burns the nose hairs a little bit, but it's also got this kind of fruity, fruity funk to it. Can I make an insight check on this? On it's the like drink? Whole, no, on the guy, on the bartender. Oh, well, that's what the last insight check was for. Uh, wasn't that to... Wait, yeah, we're going Go back ahead. two weeks here. I don't remember. <laughs> what I, I thought the last roll I made was to realize that he said my name before I introduced myself. Oh, that's not great. Uh, 11. 11? Oh, shit. <coughs> what do you get from him? You, I, I, Carol. What are me? you getting? No I clue? No clue. Yeah, no clue. Um, he seems genuine, broad, overly broad smile on his face. I mean, this smile almost goes uh, ear to ear. 
Mm. Okay. I will say it's, that it, I guess if you, rules, Carol, it's... are unsettled by this, uh, you, Anja, would also find him unsettling, but you uh... don't know what about him specifically is unsettling to you. Well, I just... I will... I'm just going to play Coast Jess. Oh know, my goodness, great. I have almost forgotten. The custom around here is to add a little bit of this, and he places a bottle uh, next to it. This here is the guarana juice. What you do is you put a little sprinkle of that into the kava here. If you're feeling adventurous, you could light it on fire before you down it. But uh, this is a real quick, swift kick to the bottom. You know, kind of like a rabbit hopping out of a skillet. Get you right up out and into the day. I'll do it. I'll flip and do it. All right. Pour in, light on fire. <laughs> if I have something to light on fire with, I assume I have flint and steel or something like that on me. <laughs> Brings a candle. <laughs> okay, cool. Fine. Pulls out a twig. <laughs> and you drink it while it, wait, you drink it while it's actually lit? Drink it while it's lit. Just don't spill it on you. <laughs> Did I burn my lips? Give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, that's not very good at all. <laughs> You're screwing yourselves over, guys. I totally am. Because I rolled, yeah, rolled. my dice are screwing me over. Let's get that straight right now off the bat. That yeah, That's only a six. Yeesh. <laughs> this is wow this is an acquired taste mm. and you know that tough guy look you put on when you entered the bar you know to make sure those rough and tough sailors were like yeah don't mess with me oh, you may remember it you may not uh, i do remember that's it. gone now <laughs> uh, like she having breathing issues from that thing Oh dear, oh dear. He goes, pours oh. you a glass of water. Oh, no, no, I'll Anya, be okay. Are you okay now? Yeah, I'll be fine. Drink the water. It's uh it's an acquired taste. Mostly the sailors who come out, and of course the people who harvest the uh plants around here are used to the taste. Uh, should have expected a newcomer like yourself was not prepared for it. Not my wildest dreams did I imagine that you couldn't do this. Uh, all right, I'm. I so, apologize. I tend uh, to pontificate quite a bit. I'm hang about on. to speak too much. Hang on, Mr. DM. I'm looking to see if he's got any marks or anything like that uh, on him, like maybe hiding or whatever, like a tattoo or something, you know? I mean, there's only a couple ways somebody would know who what I kind am. Of tattoo would you be looking for? Hmm. I've been trying to think of that because she likely has one somewhere. You know, that's that's sort of what happens in big, big groups like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So I hadn't exactly like groups completely like I'm not saying it. <laughs> not saying it till it hits the hits hits it hits us all over the head. Uh but I'm gonna make what what, what kind of a check would you like, sir? Other than a crappy one, because my dice will probably roll like that. That is probably true, yeah. Is um, it investigation or perception? I think investigation this? is what I'm going to ask I'm you. Investigate for, this. Close. Investigate. Oh, yeah. It's a, Jesus Christ. I don't see shit. Because that was a three on the die, so I'm not even going to bother. Because well, that won't even break a ten. What the fuck, dice? I'll start. I'm going to start pulling more dice. Yeah, for some reason, have to things are a little, little blurry right now. <laughs> Yeah, I can't see dice, shit. We need Actually, it's true. <laughs> I can't see, see. I can't see shit, man. Yeah, see right there. <laughs> yeah. Your tongue is numb and it's really hard. Yeah, to what the hell happened to me? Fine, and because of the whoa, that that hit me pretty good. Uh, who are you, sir? Uh, my name is Zach Karija. I am the owner and proprietor of this here establishment. How the frick do you spell that? Uh, that's Z A double K A R I J A. Now, Z normally you K. might think it's Zakokoriya, but the J is actually spelled as a J. 
Wait, how is that again? <laughs> Zacharija. Z Z A K K A R I J A. Z A K K A R I J A. J A Zacharija. No, actually, I'm going to look at something here real fast and then I'm going to laugh. Okay. Woo. All right. No, I'm good. I'm good. All right. We have notes. You can't change it now. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, dang it. You know what? That's written everywhere in this adventure. I've got to change it. I mean, it's only written once in the adventure. <laughs> Zachary, does he have a last name? Do you have a last name? Afraid not. Just the one I was born and given to. And he doesn't look familiar at all, right? To me. Mm, not in the sense that you're thinking of. Right. Well, does he look familiar to me in any other sense? I don't know. Does he? I'm sorry. I'm a DM. Not to Carol. That question. <laughs> not, uh, not to Carol, he doesn't. Uh, we have not come across this character in this campaign, but there's a plenty of past before this campaign. Yeah, you could give me a history check or an arcana check. Uh, let's pick and try a different die here. Just kind of figure out what he's on about. Uh, still not even friggin well at least that's a seven that's history a seven. said or arcana yeah you that's can give the me same whatever you like well it doesn't really matter they're both the same it's both an eight god why are my dice rolls so shit uh i mean you have three three dice three shitty rolls heard about uh um creatures called satyrs uh, uh, in the far lands, they don't necessarily uh, uh, take place in the sea. They're more beyond it, past Farzim. Uh, but creatures with goat horns and goat legs, and he appears to be one of them. So, Josh, she's feeling a little bit drunk. So, uh, how do you know who I am? Did uh, Beep Beatrice, send word of this quickly? Well, I mean, that would be rather fast. Did you not just come from there? I, I did. But I didn't introduce myself. How do you know who I am? Uh, my dear Miss Yeager, I am the best bartender in this place, in the whole city. I know everybody's names coming in and coming out of the city. And to be fair, you were supposed to get here a lot sooner than you did. Well, that was not our fault. Well, I imagine Thank it was you. the storm that suddenly came upon us not too long ago. It was, that was part of it. Are you doing okay there, Miss Yeager? You yeah. do look exhausted. Have you been getting enough sleep? I'm trying to remember if she's gotten enough sleep. I know I haven't gotten enough sleep. <laughs> uh, was, was that a, a hint at dreams or something? <laughs> Since I mean, you knew about the storm that magically came upon us <laughs> in our dream? No, there was a storm that... You had an actual the storm real. there. Yeah, a real storm. We did, we did. <laughs> I'm not there. I'm thinking outside of the game right now. I'm trying to piece shit together. No, I think he's talking about the actual real storm. And if actually the sailors came, if sailors came here at all, then, although none of them did, they were all flipping arrested. So this is all weird. How would you know? I, I it's like, how would you know all this? This is. Are you asking in character? Or yes, asking... I am asking in character because she's she's half drunk. So <laughs> he is half drunk apparently. She's gonna be direct. Well, Miss Yeager, you I know answered all you this? already. Uh, you were supposed to be here a few days ago. You are from Arukatan, are you not? I am, but uh, how do you know? What are you part of the town council and you know everything that's going on? A good barman knows all the secrets of a town. 
Hmm. All the way from the deep docks below, all the way rising up to the top. Sketchy fucking dude. Boy, is he, huh? That was out of character. <laughs> insight check, ma'am. Insight check, that shit. Insight check again. I, I did. I mean, yeah, because it's going to be probably, let's see. Well, hey, it looks, nope, that's not a double digit. God damn it. That's going to be, yeah, I can't see shit. Uh, that's a 12. So at least it got a broke a 10 this time. If you are still unsettled by this guy, he is a very unsettling person. But honestly, you don't know why. But, yeah, no. Well, it's, he's unsettling because, well, I mean, I guess it stands to reason. And I'm going to, I'm just going to think that, yeah, all right, well, you know, news does travel around, which actually I think I said at one point too, as a player. News does travel around, so it's entirely possible. I always do appreciate when the player makes the excuse as to why something happened. That way I don't have to tell them. <laughs> and I can laugh and giggle behind my little green book. <laughs> so, I don't know. Do you have any news for me? What kind of news are you looking for? I'd Goins. hate to obfuscate anything that you may think about our lovely town here. Goings on on this, well, she's half drunk. Weird ass island. <laughs> oh, <what would> you... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow, Riley. Riley. Just so you, so, so you folks know, he wrote that he hopes he dies by the volcanic explosion. <laughs> Maybe could, a little bit. He's sketchy. He is sketchy. <laughs> but the, way, the, the way he's talking it reminds me of Foghorn Leghorn. And, and I, I don't say, know why, I say, I say. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Maybe well, get one of I the I can tell you all sorts of things around here, Miss Anya. Uh, for example, have you heard that? Anja, uh, it's Anja, first of all. Uh, dang it, uh, you do pronounce the hard <laughs> J. Yeah, and I always forget about it, and I do not care. Uh, screw you, Miss Anja. Uh, <laughs> you could go Miss Yeager. That works, too. No, Miss Yeager, that is absolutely true. <coughs> but I can tell you fine. many a wonderful things about our islands. Uh, for example, have you enjoyed our wonderful clean streets? And as he says that, there's a sailor in the background who's just, <laughs> what was our wonderful clean street? Don't worry, that'll be taken care of. We uh, we actually have some wonderful lava tubes underneath the island that uh, are very wonderful about hiding some of this city's dirt and debris. Uh, I could tell you about the jungles outside if you look like the adventurous sort. There are some... Uh, ruins out there that may be interesting to you uh, rumor has it that some giants came along came up on shore built them and uh angered the god of the volcano so much that uh the goddess of light kicked them off huh that's interesting so what do we say we get we got the, the the clean streets let's see i write this down clean streets this is a very law and order sort of town, isn't it? A long sort of what, dear? Law and order sort of town. I know I'm slurring a little bit. Well, that is true. Uh, I will say it's certainly a little bit more than it was uh, ever since you folks uh, decided to move in and try and take over this island. But we've seen it here before and we generally know how it goes. And then you said, what the, hang on, I'm just catching up. I know it's ruins the giants used to inhabit no longer. They were kicked out. Rumor is some giants came on shore and built them, but angered the volcano so much the, vol uh, the goddess of light kicked them off. Wait, they angered the volcano so much that the goddess of light kicked them out. That's interesting. Well, they are one and the same, don't you know? Why? Okay, here's a good question. I do. I get the feeling that the two factions don't like each other. Why, if they're the same being? Is it just ideological differences then? 
Well, probably. I mean, one of them tends to be very prefer the fear of the volcano to keep their sheep in line, and I suppose the other one prefers to be the shepherd to all these fine folks. Honestly, who's to say I don't go to either of them? Although I will say it is fun to watch the squabbles when they do happen. Of course, they've been kept separated now since uh, people started going missing. People have gone miss. That really doesn't shock me, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Like um, the previous tenant of my room at the Port of Call went missing, remember, Anja? Or remember, Carol? Yes, that's right. That's right. Yep. And, that, and that's the rule is uh, if someone goes missing, the belongings in the room go to the okay. Port of Call. I need to be able to see and so that. it's a rule enough that enough people have gone missing. How many. Hold on a second, the island. I mean, it's no stranger when the sailors go missing. To be honest, a lot of them hear about the treasures out in the jungle that they think they're brave and adventurous enough to go out there and find it on their own, never to return. And if I give so many notes, I'm going to screw Ernie over. So I'm going to keep talking about all these rumors and such. I'm it's it's to so hard not to meta game right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so hard not to like. <laughs> this is what Anya knows. <laughs> Anya knows. <Yeah. laughs> I, I literally have an it's... Anja section now because I need to keep it separate. Because if Riley fun. knew this shit, he would go insane. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it. We're working oh yeah, on yeah, that. we're working on that. <laughs> Their fortune in the all right. So some are people are trying to find the fortune in the jungle, and they just disappear. Yeah, or go missing from the city. <laughs> what yeah, are, missing. What shut up. <laughs> what other what other sort of incidences have people gone missing, just disappeared out of their beds, or, or is it all in the jungle? These are grown sailors, miss. They don't go just disappearing off of their beds. No but, one sees where they go in the middle of the night, but it's presumed they go off to find treasure. The god <laughs> here have lately told sailors they can't go, so usually the best time is to. Uh, sneak across the walls in the middle of the night, which I presume they do. That's, that's... If I sound like I'm the, talking double, let me clarify if I need to, okay? That sounds so... I'm sorry. So the a, god here has said they can't go out in the night, so they have likely... Guard? G-U-A-R-D? Oh. Did you say God or Gore? God. Yeah, I, I thought you said God. And that's all like, No, God. no. The I southern apologize. God. The people. southern dialect, God. There's a curfew essentially where everybody has to be in. But they believe once they get that wall up that they don't have to do that anymore. Well, wait, do they want to have to keep people out or from leaving once they get the wall up? Well, they, they won't, won't have, have to guard have a curfew anymore. Oh. The people wall will be up. The uh, you don't th- corrupted you don't... won't be able to go through the wall quite as easily. Do people get corrupted here? Or have strange On the dreams? island all the time. In the city, not so much. Hey, how do you... Huh. But yet people disappear all the time in the city. Well, sailors almost... are free to come and go as they please. What do you think causes this corruption? Are you not aware? Enlighten me like I am brand new to this island. <laughs> I want to hear his point of view. Well, you see, a long time ago, the island, of course, was here, but something deep down in the waters uh, woke up when people started moving to this island here. 
and the fishermen started dragging up some interesting things. Now, it's said that these creatures, these deep ones rising from below the surface, they they sought to make a deal, to make a trade with the uh, folks here on the island. But they believed in the protection of their volcano, that it would protect them from the deep ones, and, and so it has in part. Wait, did but you say number? Did you say the deep ones actually wanted some sort of a, a, I don't know, a relationship with the people here? That was not necessarily just trying to eat them. I I, I think he was talking about like the same type of trades that they did in Rizante for for like power and and stuff. That's how uh, I interpreted Kyle. Am I wrong? On what you know, Anja? Yes. Okay. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I said. We're Depending on if you are enlightened to that information, Anja, yes. This sounds exactly like the writings of uh, one uh, Mundo Fen. Yeah, I, I think I talked about that with the group and then I forgot maybe. But yeah. An Anja... <laughs> you don't remember anymore. <laughs> yeah, but Anja may remember. Anja probably, probably not because I... I'm... Oh well, yeah, I rolled I'm... I rolled a sixteen on the die plus history, so I she remembers. Okay, so what, Kyle? What were you saying about uh, the volcano has protected them in part, but <laughs> you were right in the middle of the sentence there. That was very interesting. <laughs> uh, you will have to remind me. I have absentee players uh, uh, giving me messages. Ah, it is said that these deep ones rising below the surface, it is said that they make trade with the folks on the island, but they believed in the protection of the volcano, and it has protected them from the deep ones in part, but... But those uh, deep ones are very sly, and they've been slowly corrupting the jungle around the people. Not to mention the fact that this is a seafaring town, and uh, when we fly over their oceans, uh, we can be uh, subject to their <laughs> influences. Uh, Lord boy. dump. I know that's. What's and the best part is, <gasps> you don't know which is true and what's not true. But you said this was a trustworthy dude with that insight roll of like four or whatever. <laughs> I, <did laughs> I believe not. that was a two, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> no, I think it was it was higher than that. I mean, I know minimum, I, I was just exaggerating. My minimum bit. insight risk to Kyle was five, so because I believe I think so. Am I getting yeah. investigation? And, uh, it, it's, it's totally no, cool. No, insight, insight is five as the minimum. W yeah. Either way, you failed. <laughs> eh, shit happens. No, you're just sure he's a trustworthy guy, definitely. Who's completely and totally unsettling and creepy in ways that you're not sure why. I'm not really... Yeah, see, no, I don't... <laughs> no, he's got that honeyed tongue... Yeah. As, as slow as molasses in January. I mean, I cannot necessarily totally trust him either because he's unsettling and such. But, I mean, everything he says makes sense. So there's really, you know, nothing to untrust about what he's saying here. Is there anything else I should know? I play a mean game of checkers on uh, tomorrow evening. Is it for an audience? <laughs> hey, it's whoever wants to play with me on occasion. I will let the others know. I assure you the game you find on this island will be most challenging. I, I thought that was a, an invitation for a date until 
Han just said, oh, I'll let everyone know. I'll let everyone else know. I you. <laughs> I don't think he's really my type. Thank you very much. I don't know. From what you can tell, he's very horny. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, uh. God. <laughs> Man. That was a bad joke from the satyr person. Miss Yeager, do you need help to your lodgings? No, I can find or my Or can I back. possibly offer you ours here? We're much cheaper than the port of call and the albatross. Uh, no, I think I'm, I'm good. For now. As you wish. What's the name of this place again? This is, is the everything? Kava's Respite. K-A-V-A apostrophe S. Respite. R-E-S-P-I-T-E. Like to spite your face by cutting off your nose. I know what kind of, I know what respite. Yeah, so uh, I spelled that right, luckily, somehow. But when you first gave her that coconut, I thought for some reason it was coffee. Very similar to coffee. Okay. And if she had rolled better, she would have, you know, got the benefits from it. Hope this guy dies by the volcano explosion. What explosion are you talking about? The soon to be explosion that is going to happen. He's going to do something so sacrilegious that it's <laughs> going to piss off the volcano and it's going to explode. It's all for science. And then the Statue of Light is going to fall on top of his exploded body. Well, I'm very interested to understand how the Statue of Light functions where it changes its size mean. depending on its, your closeness. That is a possibility that I may accidentally break the statue in my investigations. Oh, I just have to wait until people aren't standing around it so nightfall. <laughs> when the statue is at its brightest and if there's a shadowy figure on it, people will definitely know. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not talking about climbing the statue. Well, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, sir. Well, thank you very much, uh, Zechariah. Was that what Zechariah? Zechariah is correct. Uh, the second K is silent. Uh, well, maybe it's the first. Honestly, my mother had a sense of humor that few very good, including myself. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I think I got Ernie on that one. <laughs> I'll, I will take my leave. Uh, I said, unless there's absolutely anything else you can. But I feel like you've enlightened us already. Uh, only if you ask, Miss Yeager. But honestly, you do not look good. Get some rest. Sleep well. Have sweet, sweet dreams. Does she really look? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, to be honest, Hopefully. you just took a lit drink to the face. <laughs> you tell did me get, how did I get, looks. <laughs> did I get burned? Singed. Singed. Singed? Okay. You got That's burned, right. I'd give you damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so then I'll say, well, yeah, naturally. I mean, I drank a drink that was on fire. I can't imagine it looks real good. And that was super strong. Well, Miss Yeager, you're supposed to pour a drop of the other bottle into it, not the entire thing. I, I did want to I warn don't you, think I actually honestly, clarified that. <laughs> I was going to clarify that for you, but honestly, I just wanted to watch and see what would happen. Let the chaos unfold, if it were. I apologize deep down in my heart. I like I this guy. Truly, <laughs> I want to make one more inside check. I'm starting to like him now. It's okay if he doesn't die in the volcano. Oh, hey, that's a double digit. I think that's a 17. Let's see what, or something. Yep, uh, 21. 21. Something about that. Is he like an agent of chaos or something? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. The thing what? is, this entire conversation you've had with him, yep. he has not blinked. His eyes have not left. Oh, you. what the fuck? And that giant grin on his face has never touched his eyes. Except for the moment when you decided to pour a lit drink onto your face. Wait, what happened to wait, what happened to it at that moment? Just shock? Oh, that was uh, just... the smile reached his eyes. <laughs> that re- reached his eyes. Oh, I see, I see. All right. I'm going to take my leave and I guess head back. Just watch his. All right, head back to the portico. Yep. Okay. Let's see. What day? Previous evening. So you are guys. I mean, Anja, why you would start drinking before noon is crazy. Day drinking. Apparently. Well, I mean, that's what all the sailors in there were doing. But you, Anja, we expected more from. And uh, both of us are disappointed. Uh, when you walk into the port call, you see Captain Kenza, uh, first mate Pasala there with a banner. Uh, it says intervention. Bran, uh, while not here, has left a letter. Dear Anja, we're worried about you. We care. <laughs> what the fuck? I look at him like, what? Yeah, this is not really <laughs> happening. For this something. is not really happening. You're drunk and you think it might be happening, but... You fell on the walk home and hit your head. (laughs) Sorry, but you're in a coma. Yeah. And uh, on your walk home, and uh, go ahead and give me the roll as well. A d6 from the both of you. All right, hang on. I'm just writing down. You want this to be high or low? (laughs) I ain't telling you until you tell me a damn number, son. Six. <laughs> Make that two of them. Two sixes. Yeah, two you know, sixes. it's going to be bad. You know, it's going to be bad because we rolled high. That I hope the volcano starts to rumble. I hope something happens. That's dramatic. We're about to get mugged. That's what's going to happen. Searching for the priestess of light. Coming back from the Kava's respite. You both not necessarily seeing each other yet. You both come upon a scene where uh, it looks like a terrible accident has occurred. Uh, And one of the sailors has split his head open on some cobblestones uh, and has died. Oh, I can't save him. And there is an argument going on right now between some other sailors and the uh, a mix of the Toa, the guard of the island, the island guardians, and uh, the Arukatan guards, where the sailors are demanding the body of their sailor. Uh, meanwhile, the guards are holding uh, uh, the sailors back as they gather up this body. It is island law. If you die here on this island, you are buried here. You cannot have him back. He's our, he's our captain. We got to get him back to the ship. I'm sorry. This is the way it is. And it almost gets to the point if the guard were not so well armored uh, uh, that a fight would break out. Uh, but the sailors um, are turned away and the guards load the body uh, onto a wagon and they start heading off into the direction um, <coughs> Yeah, I would say you both would know the direction of the cemetery with either wisdom checks or the fact that you have been exploring the city and you've been up and you can see down below um, Anja as the wagon wheels by Riley, you catch sight of him and they wander off with the body. So we saw each other? You would say you see each other. You both have pretty good perceptions passively. Uh, I'm thinking of... Also, I mean, your giant scaly man. Well, not a giant scaly man, but you're a scaly man in a in a city that doesn't Can... have scales. Uh, yeah, a little scaly. 
can I uh, roll an insight check to try and infer what happened to the captain that caused him to split his head open? Did he just trip, or was there... Um... Or, or do I hear murmurs about how he died? Like, oh man, can't believe that happened. Blah, blah. Um, yeah. You would hear rumors. He was drunk off his ass getting that morning drink. I mean, well, Anja would see a night, that morning drink. <sighs> uh, and he apparently slipped and fell his head, and it's such a tragedy. Oh, well, Law's law. And they go about their way, and honestly, once the cart goes by, all talk of the death and the accident just kind of halt right there. Well, they begin talking about other things. So it's a common enough occurrence that it's only worth a moment's gossip, and then it's done. Or maybe not common, but like everyone Inside knows. chick. Okay. Six. Common enough occurrence. I mean, people must die here all the time. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness that a rule Catan is going to come in here and straighten this shit out because this is unacceptable. People shouldn't be dying this often. That's true. Can I follow that, Kurt? Mm, if you wish. <laughs> hey, Riley. Bye, Riley. <laughs> well, Riley could come with. I mean, do I? If I see him, I'm going to tell him. I have that. other objectives. <laughs> What's hey, did you talk to an interesting man who told you lots of information? I need to talk to the same person <laughs> and ask the same questions. Now, nah, I'll see Manja and I will sync up later. So, I, my metagaming will will calm down. Um, if we see if we see each other there, I will tell him I'm going to follow that cart. Okay, Anja, I'll, I'll meet you later at the port of call. Okay, we can do that, and I am going to follow the cart. Ha, we're splitting the party again, Kyle. Of course we are. I try and get you guys together, and you come right back apart. Sorry. <laughs> nope, it's fine. I blame Ernie on this one. This is definitely his fault this time. Oh, man, yeah. It's time to, to go hunt for someone else in this town who's uh, been here a while or maybe has a little private library maybe knows the histories or something. That's that's my goal now with sure. the rest of this afternoon. Now, you also, uh, as you, well, Ernie, if you recall, you still have a lot of information that you never actually deciphered from Rizante. Oh, yeah, I have the letters. You have the um, letters. And, uh, well, I, and I went through it, the journals. Uh, I just, there was the letters from Marukatan sent to Rizante. Mm-hmm. which I did not read yet. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't actually read the bestiary yet after it was absorbed. Uh, I read the accounting book and I read the journals. You read the accounting book. You read the journals. Um, the accounting book suddenly makes a little bit more sense knowing that Mundo Fen was here and combining that with the knowledge that you may read from the bestiary you can kind of see where some of this animals studying the corruption and Ooh. that's just general information if you want maybe a little bit more you have to spend the time reading the book same thing with the letters you can do that um, I don't know if you ever saw the pamphlet that Bran had um, no. Oh, oh, I do. It was the mad. Um, oh, who was that dude? It was like a brochure, right? Fran sees it's on a shirt. It's paper and pamphlets. The words don't make sense. Mm-hmm. Do, do, do. And then that was later. I don't think Riley ever got to see that yet. Okay. Uh, if you are aware of it, you can find a way to get your hands on that, um, but that all depends on what you would like to do. And of course, if you'd like to... Uh, dang it, Caitlin, you're screwing up the entire camera system we had set up. 
No, I'm messing with you. We're, we're glad to have a third person. <laughs> Finally, because what Riley's going to do is going to be reading the entire time, which is going to be really yeah. boring. So we need to hear what Cleo's doing. Uh, well, I'm going to go sneak after that cart. So. Mm-hmm. Well, Cleo, Caitlin, get set up a little bit better and give us a thumbs up in the chat. Uh, Caitlin, when you are ready to go, we'll talk about what you're doing during your downtime here and we'll kind of get you caught up. Uh, Anja, uh, right now. All right, let's do this right now. Let's not figure out where this dead body is going. Let's figure out what Cleo wants to do. Let's go to the cemetery, obviously. Obviously. Like, there's no need to explore that. Mm -hmm. Cemetery. I just risen from the dead. Yeah, mm-hmm. obviously. Elvira. Okay, no, just me. Yeah, just you. Uh, just. Well, no, the I, doesn't I, really scream Elvira, no. does it? No. Mm-hmm, okay. Uh, awesome. So, Cleo, uh, what you missed last time A lot. is that. <laughs> You missed a little bit. Uh, you missed that the crew was about to be hung, but because the leadership in the town is running errands and is missing from the town, like they're not going to be it's hung. It's a better way to yet. word that. You know, they left town and are going to be back. That's a better way they to word it. They are absent from the town while they run yeah. errands to other places. I mean, on the oh, missing, absent. Absent's the word I was Still thinking. missing from the town has a definitely. A uh, more sinister tone to it than just being <laughs> absent. Uh, so the crew did not get hung yet. Everyone's been kind of running around doing downtime uh, because you hate the crew for some odd reason. You didn't show up to defend them. Uh, so you have woken up the previous day in the afternoon. Uh, from the Albatross, where Christopheru and Marju. Is that correct? Yeah, Christopheru and Grandpa and Marju. Marju. Yes. I'm good. I don't even have to look at notes anymore. I'm the greatest DM ever. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Question mark? Mm. <laughs> Ah, this is giving me so much joy to bring. What is Cleo doing when she wakes up in the evening? I'm taking my sweet time getting ready. Taking your sweet time getting ready. You, would you like me to go on with what Anja's doing right now, or would you like to go ahead and get started in? I mean, talking to you. Can I Anja. join them? Uh, right now, they're kind of doing their own downtime. They've split apart the party a little bit. I want to get you caught up time-wise to what's happening. All right. Otherwise, you've been just twiddling your thumbs at the albatross. I mean, isn't it a spa? So she's probably not twiddling her thumbs. She's probably getting her nails done and what's going on massage with massage and yeah, what's going on with Jeremiah? Have you checked on him yet, Cleo? Where yeah, it's been a while I since you talked to him. I swear I thought we left him behind in a cave. No, no, no. He's in town. <laughs> he Did is he currently back? in the... He was dragged back. Uh, he's in a coma. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm just like, you guys got him. You're good. Maybe he needs a mud <laughs> Well, he's kind of missing an arm and all the ligaments. Oh, we definitely need Just right what now. a crap would heal, you know? Yeah. It's, it's you just tiny. cover over the scars with a mud wrap, all better. Yeah, it heals quickly. Maybe you know, you put the cucumbers so. over your eyes, you barely <laughs> notice a thing. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. He's having his unconscious spa day. Sure. He'll wake up and maybe feel better <laughs> when he went to sleep. If not, we're just going to pull the whole plug on this Jeremiah guy. Oh. <laughs> he can be uh, my bodyguard then from now on. Oh, I'm stumpy. Okay. Uh, Anja, you follow the wagon along um, behind the guard. Are you being fairly obvious about this? Are you approaching the guard? Five feet back, ten feet back, 
a good distance back to just kind of not really be noticed? About, well, close enough. I, I want to, yeah, I want to try not to really be noticed. Okay. Even though I'm going to, I need new armor. I've got good decks. I should really ditch this flipping heavy armor that causes disadvantage for stealth. Okay. <sighs> I may have to rethink my character's life. Well, but, you're in luck with the fact that most of the guard here are also uh, armored up similar to you. So clanking is a normal sound that's going on. Okay. I'm just going to um, stay back a little bit and try not to look too odd, like I'm obviously following this cart. Uh, it goes down the main street there uh, and it heads over to the cemetery and probably in the oddest design of a cemetery you've ever seen. Uh, it's right up against a finished section of the wall. But there is this kind of gulch um, ditch that's probably about 15 feet down. Um, and there is a, a rope bridge on either side of the cemetery. It's and got so, a moat. <laughs> well, it does not fill the water, but so the cemetery is a ditch that goes around it, and the other sides are against the walls. Yeah, well, you take a look around and you can kind of see okay, this ditch maybe was here before to kind of help uh, defend the city. Um, but the fact that they put the cemetery on the other side might seem a little bit strange. Um, they pull the body off um, and cross the bridge with it. Swinging to fro, ropes creaking. And in this absolutely tiny cemetery, for a town this size... The cemetery is probably, think of a one-horse town. Yeah. Where they have a cemetery. It's maybe, I think, a football field. That's the size of the cemetery. But for the size of the city itself, this is an incredibly small cemetery. And there's a few of the... Um, uh, mausoleums, I think it's the correct word I'm thinking of, um, dotting the place. There's not a... Oh, it's very interesting. It's very small. And the guards proceed to knock on the door of one of these mausoleums, wait, open the door, Bring the sailor inside. And as they turn and leave, they appear to make a quick symbol. Um, the Toa guard do. The Urukatans just leave the body there. They close it and they hurry off across the bridge. And unless you want to speak to them, they just kind of walk past you. Giving you no mind. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Hey, here's the thing. How many... Does You know, considering that people are supposedly dying here a lot these days. Does it look like... Does it look like that case with the amount of headstones and things here? I'm going to assume the answer might be no. There look to be, if you take the time to count... Yeah, I will. Uh, 30 headstones. Yeah, that's... And seven mausoleums. Seven mausoleums. I can figure out how to spell it. M-A-U-S-E-L-O-U-E-M-E-E-M-S-O-L-U. Question mark. There's seven mausoleums and 30 headstones. And 30 headstones. So. This is sus as fuck. Just, just for uh, earnest knowledge here, what, what was the symbol that they did in there? Can I tell? 
Does it look Can you tell? Yeah. Well, I mean, ha have I seen other Toa guards do a symbol in there or something before? I I'm just interested personally, like, for the lore. For the lore, uh, this would be Anja, make a religion check. Religion, not uh, Yogg-Sothery. Not Yogg-Sothery. I mean, if you want to make a Yogg-Sothery. Do I think it's religion or do I think it's yeah? Oh, is it? Well, religion would be 10 and Yogg-Sothery would be 13. Oh. Wow. I don't have a lot in real. I don't like down shit in religion. I mean, Yog Sothri, the symbols are very confusing, often disjointed. And honestly, to the layman, they don't make sense. The symbol that you uh, see, the Toa guards, seem more akin to something that is religious. Um, and gathered by the fact that they kind of did it in the direction of the statue. The statue is more commonly worshipped uh, uh, than the volcano. You might assume that it's a kind of a quick sign to the protection uh, blessing from the goddess of light. Okay, so they made it. And so they left the body in one of the mausoleums. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they and the which guard you said the two a guard the one of the guardians right one of the island guards yes the Toa Tua is the medic Toa guard which is written down in my notes right here that is what I said earlier because you made I a mistake and you accidentally called one guard Toa when it was <laughs> The entire guard were called Shut Toa. up, man! Don't let these people know. DM Don't worry, I mistakes. take correct notes. <laughs> uh, I'll need you to send those over to me, Ernie, uh, when you're done tonight. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I think I'm on... Uh... Ooh, actually, I'm on page, like, 40-something of my notes. Holy crap! Yeah. Well, while she's writing down those notes, Riley, you it. are reading books? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm very much interested in this bestiary. Uh, okay. Learning, especially about the corruption, if there's anything about it in there. There is uh, little to do with the corruption, except maybe uh, a few pages handwritten in the back of the book. Uh, the Beast Jerry itself, uh, I'm just going to give you knowledge anytime you run into anything that is on this island, um, provided oh, it awesome. was in the Beast Jerry. If you combine it with a little bit of the knowledge, um, found in the ledger, the accounting book, the scientific journal of one Mundo Fen. Um, you can find out, and it's very interesting because at the beginning of the book, you've read this over a couple of times, and while you've been dryly analyzing it, it seems very scientific. But Also, thinking, um... I, I do want to say I'm probably not reading it from the book anymore because all of these things were in the same satchel. The oh, yeah. letters, no, it's the book, the... everything. It's it's in the tablet. Mm -hmm. So those letters, unfortunately, um, Ryan is never going to get a chance to read them because <laughs> I am never handing up this handing off this tablet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you are getting the swirling patterns and it's coming back to you. You're kind of peeling off these cracks. Uh, at some point, it almost seems like the tablet is falling apart, crumbling underneath your fingers, and you're almost freaking out, but there's words underneath the rocks as they fall away from the tablet, and you look down at the ground and at the tablet, and the tablet hasn't actually lost mass, despite the fact that there's bits and pieces of rock and gravel on the ground. And if you try and bring back the information, you find the information again. Um, but as you do this, you're crumbling through it. You're spinning it here and there, um, etching in symbols. You're not even aware that you're doing it. And as you etch in a strange uh, uh, spiral into the uh, granite surface, it brings back uh, uh, information from the accounting book that you're reading. 
and overlooking it again, you notice that there is actually a, a, a significant change in the book where one part, it seems like it's looking for some sort of cure to the corrupted creatures and possibly to corrupted people to how do these get made how how do you stop it how do you make how do you make more and how the design of these creatures these scales offers protection and that this is a god's given gift and everyone should be partaking in this and how do we create more creatures like this this is no corruption this is a cleansing a cleansing of what humanity this is what humanity was always meant to be what the world was always meant to be and I make this in this image uh dread save <laughs> Safe. Oh no! What? Uh, that was pretty creepy. Already? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, yeah. This is the dread save for now. Uh, I rolled a, a modified twenty. Modified twenty. <laughs> so good. I'm in. I'm a good insane. You are at dread three. Active dread two. Oh. Um, cool. And I'm, you uh, I'm find scared. yourself unable to bring up any more information about the accounting book. Um, it's there. You're certain it's there. But as of the moment, approaching said source of dread is impossible at the moment. Okay. Cool. That's uh, you can make that's a good wisdom enough. save if it becomes more important, but kind of have that idea when you approach it from now on. Um, well, that's good to know. I mm -hmm. guess from that, I'm going to stop trying to read the accounting book and I am going to probably sit there and, and maybe try and commune with my patron a little bit and ask, um, you know, what should I do? Where should I go to, to learn more or something like like that yeah. um and then i i'll say that's that's what i'm gonna do for a while so if you want to go sure. to andre or cleo all right miss cleo yes what does the future hold for you dear my leg act <laughs> um for my day off your day off your downtime Is there like any magic shops or? There is a bazaar and there is a pawn shop. If you ask around, Christopher, you paid him quite handsomely for the room and he is happy to aid you in this. Uh, which would you like to try? I guess the what, bazaar, bazaar. Bazaar thing? or pawn shop. It's like the marketplace, right? Like yeah, I'd rather do that. All right. Now, pawn shops are creepy old. They'd have nothing good in them. They should be stolen stuff, and I'm not being involved in that. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess the marketplace could be too, but... That's I mean, absolutely. if you uh, want some quick money, the pawn shop's uh, probably willing to take some paladin armor that Jeremiah's not going to need anymore. <laughs> oh, <you too. laughs> I mean, if you want some quick money... Mm -hmm. I mean, he this is great, but where's the uh, armored arm? Uh, it seems to be missing. Oh, it's 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 in fashion. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> it's a style. Uh, Cleo, go ahead and give me a D100 roll, please. Why do you like them so much? Because I'm difficult, and it's a Cthulhu S game, and I'm difficult. Did 87? I mention I'm difficult? 87. This is like weirdly very high. <laughs> very weirdly very high. Uh, unfortunately, that's bad news for you. Uh, going through the bazaar, they have foods. Um, you see a rabbit in a cage. 
uh, on the butchering block. Uh, the strange thing about this rabbit, though, is it has a fish tail instead of a, a fuzzy tail. And the eyes are just solid pitch black. And it's... Ew. Like a goldfish in a pond, except with sharp, very sharp teeth. It can jump a... Look at the bones! Uh, I like Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Don't worry about it. That rabbit may escape later on down the road, but you'll find okay. out later. Um, let it free. Just kidding. I feel like I should not let that rabbit free. I'm not going to do that. Are you sure? I'm, I mean, I'm... he's cuter than an owlbear, maybe. Ish. Uh, Anything else? No, you go through this bar, and this is a typical bazaar um, in the sense that people are yelling. Ah, uh, pretty angel lady, pretty angel lady, let me get you some... Uh, 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 would you like some peanuts? I got peanuts for you. French fries. French fries. Oh. Uh, they are... are... <laughs> Unfortunately, it's the potato wedges. It's not actually French fries, so they're disgusting because they have well, some nutrition in the skin. Uh, and you're not really able to find... Uh, anything. Um, eventually, you hmm, how do I want to put this? Uh, you're walking through the bazaar and you can see that every once in a while the Arul Katan guard are walking through uh, and when they catch sight of you, it's an immediate a quick bow to you and just, lady and proceed to scurry off and you kind of get this treatment from uh, the Rukatan guard as you pass on by them. Um, okay. And eventually this old crone sitting in a rocking chair uh, with three little legs that rock. It's quite a strange thing because it goes both side to side and a little front to back. Not really sure how it works, but it's interesting. Hello, dear. Are you looking for something interesting? Uh, I guess just browsing for any oddly, inherently magical items. Oh, dear. They are really only found at the pawn shop. And <laughs> to be fair, they haven't gotten anything good and interesting in a while. If it's power you're seeking, though, you can find that in certain ways if you ask the right people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, learn learning new spells, techniques, that there's classes, scrolls. I don't know if that's beneficial to me. <laughs> I don't know too much about that, dear, but I've been told that if you make a decent enough offering to the cemetery... There's a mausoleum there that if you leave enough gold, they will gift you with some knowledge. Mm. Ancient wisdom. Mind you, this is a whole episode that's a big fuck you to uh, Ernie. As he doesn't <laughs> encounter any of this. Oh, I feel like this is such a bad idea, though. Knowledge in a Cthulhu game, I mean. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just want to, like, meet with them to learn more about spells and magical ways and items and cults. Cults, dear? Who? Why would you think you would find cults here? The only Roots people who are, are here are together. And that... the priests of light. Me? No. No, not to you. Oh. <laughs> Unless you want to start your own religion. <laughs> the goddess of light. <laughs> uh, move over, bitch. I'm the new goddess of light. Yeah. Look at my radiance. <laughs> I dare you to climb on top of that statue. And just just <gasps> <laughs> take over. <laughs> No. Wait, are you even 
near me? How are you going to dare me? What are you like whispering in my head? That's out of game. I'm, I'm daring oh, you okay. to play your character in a way <laughs> to take over. Got you. Who said that? <laughs> yeah. Um... And it is about this time where a Toa guard comes to you, Cleo. A who? A guard? A guard. One of the island guard comes up to you. Mm. Are you Cleo from Hazel's Folly? Yes. Captain Lothar came in. Should I be? Should I not be? I think it is very important that you are. Captain Lothar came in earlier today and wishes to speak with you at the stockade. Anja, you get a knock at your door. Oh, One of the oh, tool garden. Wait, I came back? Oh, where did you end up going to? You I was were still at the, at the cemetery. cemetery. <laughs> I apologize. I uh, Did I get back then? I mean, did I? I I'm going to file all What did you want to do? I almost want to go in the damn mausoleum. They left the body, but. It's up to you. Uh, I feel like this is under pressure. Luck. Under pressure. Hmm. Looking down at you. When they opened the door and they brought the body in, was there anybody actually inside the mausoleum that I could see or no? If you were across the bridge, you can't see anything from that distance. Okay. But why did they knock? I think there's someone in there. So it'd probably be really... Yeah, that's why, you know, I suspect there's somebody in there. Would you like to go find out? Oh, God. Yeah, I kind of do, but oh, God. (laughs) Or you can just tell Riley about it, and he will. (laughs) No, don't tell Riley anything about anything you learn. Please tell me everything, or my character is going to go crazy. (laughs) Uh, your character's already doing a good job of that without us telling you anything just on the stuff you're finding. Yeah, that's the goal. Uh, are there any windows in the mausoleum or is it just the door? Just the door. Damn. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there, uh, in case I want to return. <laughs> Um, Are you sure there's one entrance in and out of the cemetery? It's surrounded by iron spikes. Looks like a very, very warm place to walk into. It's not that. I think someone, I mean, if they, they, I did, they knocked, which would imply that somebody was in the other side. I mean, when they left, there wasn't an extra person amongst the numbers, right? Correct. Yeah. So there's probably somebody in there that took possession of the, body i'm gonna go i'm gonna go for now and i guess i'll head back riley as you're pondering and you're asking guidance to ubo sothleth where do you go next a knock at the door where do i go last the person and there was a knock at the door sorry i I knock at your door yes okay you open it a toa garden Captain Lothar has returned uh, and wishes to hear your side of the story about the crew from the Hazel's Folly. You are Riley, correct? Yes, I am Riley. I would love to tell Lothar about the crew. Thank you. Uh, Would you like to lead the way? I have to find the others. Okay. I think... um, if you don't know, Anja was following the uh, little cart with the sailor body. Did you actually tell him that somewhere, wherever it was going? Um, so Did you, you, tell you him may that? be able. You may, yeah. Uh, so you may be able to find Anja uh, that yeah. that way. I mean, it's just an innocent observation, and I'm helping him out. I'm a I'm a sure. good dude. Because there's nothing sus about so that. So Anja, at all. you're standing at the corner of this building, just kind of overlooking over into the cemetery. Yeah, sure. You're debating. I haven't left yet. Yeah. And you know, it's close up of your face as you're pondering this, and you turn around. Ah, it's the Toa guard. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Anja Yeager. Uh, Captain yeah. Lothar has returned from his duties off the city. 
out of the city and wishes to hear your story about the Hazel's Follies crew? Uh, sh- sure, right now. Ideally, hey. unless you wish for them to be hung. Uh, okay, the magistrate's back? No, Captain Lothar of the Island Guard is back. Okay. I thought the magistrate had to be back before this could be resolved. He is willing to hear your side of the story now. Again, if you prefer not, that is your choice. No, 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 that's that's fine. Obviously, I want to have an interest in saving the guard. Um, Don't have an interest in saving the crew? No, I do have an interest in saving the crew. Sorry. (laughs) Everyone but Nebby. That's... That's Riley's issue, not mine. I'm perfectly happy saving Nebby. Um. All right. Uh, I guess I will. I will. I will be there in a few minutes. Okay. <sighs> hey. Uh. Hey. Before you go. What goes on with all the deceased? Do you know what goes on in that mausoleum? That is where the dead are buried. Is that why there's like no headstones or so few? You should considering how small this place is. How big are the mausoleums, by the way, uh, GM? How big are the mausoleums? Yeah. Uh, about the size of a a short bus. Not too big. Not very big at all. Not very big at all. Do they cremate the deceased? Because it seems like that is very small. Miss Yeager, if I may be so bold, Hmm. your crew's lives are on the balance. Hmm. Inside check. Oh, is that what I think? Is that a natural 20? I think. What? It's a natural 20. He's being. He's being definitely. Sketchy. He is definitely being sketchy. He is honestly, as you're asking the question, his eyes are just shifting over to the cemetery, looking around, looking to see if there's anyone else nearby. Uh, I mean, checking, uh, looking up into a window. No, I'm going to press. Window. Yeah, I'm not pressing my leg any further. I will yeah. say it. We'll just go. After you, miss. <laughs> After me? I think wants to make sure you don't hang out in the about, graveyard anymore. How about side by side? You need to. You need to. We'll go side by side. <laughs> uh, 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 okay. Yeah, that's not uh, suspicious at all. Riley, Cleo, uh, you are in front of the stockade when you see uh, the guard. That <laughs> I do get there, all right, right? Fuck like you, me. Riley. If you keep this up, you're not finding any new information. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm at the stockade. <laughs> I'll follow your rails. <laughs> uh, you see, I'm just skipping forward with the uh, guard that you I don't think it's him. skipping, but no, uh, carousing, caroling, uh, and You are once again in front of the stockade, uh, this time much later in the night. Um, Even as you approach the building, you can hear drunk caterwauling coming from inside of the building. A hundred coconuts of cava on the wall, a hundred coconuts of cava. Take one down, burn off my face. (laughs) How many bottles of cava were there? And you walk into the stockade. Um, does that sound like the same dude who was passed out in the um, in the other day? Who was in the drunk tank? That is indeed Keb, back Keb. at his usual residence in the drunk case, drunk off his ass. Okay, cool. And he's cool with it because I got the right name too. I think. Don't actually look through your notes. Jeb, I think. Yeah. Uh, did I say Jeb? Keb? Uh, Jeb? I don't know. Uh, oops. Uh, the twin drunks of the town, Keb and Jeb, are both in the drunk tank. 
Uh, I don't have either name, so I don't know what the name is actually, but whatever. Yeah, it it's Ken. Okay. Yeah, you walk in uh, abruptly. The uh, guard, who looked completely bored out of his mind, straightens up. Uh, Captain wants to talk to you. Wait here. And he excuses himself and he heads off into the other side of the building on the opposite end of where the uh, jail is. Comes back out of what looks to be an office uh, and says, Captain Lothar will see you now. Okay. Okay. Let's go sort this out. And uh, I lead the way in there. With my Lead dread. I don't know how this is going to affect me because three levels of dread I'm sure has some other effects. You see uh, in the room a giant of a man eight foot tall uh, wearing the steel plate bright red hair long big old friendly mutton chops that meet in the center which is why I'm sad I don't currently have them right now. And on his face are three long claw marks from one side of his head down to the other, uh, even to the point that one of his eyes has that kind of milky white look to it of an eye that may not work properly anymore. And he is sitting on the other side of this small desk, too small for him, with this... gigantic great axe with an eye at the center that's open the head of the axe looks like it's some kind of membranous wing and the haft is simply huge and he is taking a sharpening stone and grinding it on the edge of the axe have a seat Uh, yeah, I definitely sit down. I don't want to piss this dude off. Yep. Me too. Uh, is he also the headsman? Um, can I infer that? (laughs) 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 No, they're getting hung. Do you infer that? They're getting (laughs) hung, yeah, but (laughs) (laughs) maybe if there's only one of them, he just cuts off their heads. You don't know. Yeah. Care to explain how it is your mates have escaped from their locked cells. I... He puts down the sharpening stone as he begins to hold this axe in both hands. What do you mean escaped and when? Sometime earlier today. They're out of their cells. According to Momoa, you were the last ones to visit them. Like? Or at least your friend with the beak. Wasn't that like yesterday? That was indeed yesterday. Yeah, so we we clearly were not around here when this happened. And they were clearly in their cells when we left yesterday. We have not been back. Make a persuasion check. Mm, oh yeah, you know what? In this group, I'm probably not the one who should be making this roll. But that I is know, but you just got that confidence. I'm a bard. <laughs> oh, I'm a ranger. I know. Well, I rolled a 19, so me. <laughs> I rolled good. Hey, the dice started warming up. There you go. And you say you've been in this city the entire night and the entire day. Well, you can confirm your whereabouts with the locals. Uh, I'm you haven't to been sitting I... in a room all day reading a book with no alibi. No, I've been. I was at uh, crap, what's the name of the bar? The uh, Kava's respite. Kava's what's respite? the name of the bar? <laughs> Kava's respite. The porter call. Um, I'm gonna leave out the last. Okay, Carol saying I'm leaving out the last part that uh. That she went. 
oh, tracking and down. Are track. you letting letting them know about the uh, blacksmith as well? Oh yeah, yeah. Stopped at the blacksmith. Went to the well. Blacksmith sent me to the bar. Then back to the port. Oh, then uh, I was headed back to the protocol, and but decided to take a walk around your city. It's very interesting. And you there, Scales? Um. Well, this morning I was talking to uh, the followers of light over there at the statue, and then um, this afternoon. I was in my room reading. But you said they escaped this morning, and when that occurred uh, this morning, I, the entire time I was over by the uh, the priestess flight. I said they escaped today. I didn't say they escaped this morning. Uh, you said earlier today. Sorry, I assume that was before noon. I apologize. Yeah, it is, uh, it is fairly, still fairly early in the afternoon, right, Kyle? Uh, no, you are getting into the evening. Oh, okay. Point. Never mind. It's, it's time not... flies when you're having fun reading books or following where dead people go, or getting a spa day. What were the name of the priests of light you spoke to? Uh, they didn't give me their names. It was uh, one man and one woman, though. And uh, I did ask questions. Uh, to them and obviously I'm fairly recognizable so I'm sure they can confirm my alibi yeah when Moa said you looked like one of those corrupted bastards uh I I am not I have been traveling with this crew since Aru Katan I am not from this area so <laughs> obviously not a corrupted hopefully my persuasion will help give me a persuasion at disadvantage Disadvantage, so that twenty-five doesn't matter. Instead, I'm afraid it's not. a it's a nine. It's a nine. <laughs> no, because I rolled a two. <laughs> oh. Shit. I mean, I wasn't really with them, so I can't really help out here. Now, you we, girl, is this what the man says true? And Cleo, he turns to talk to you, and you're on mute. Yeah, me. I'm just like, what? I mean, never seen this guy before, have you? And he hoists up the X. <laughs> no, I've never seen him before. <laughs> All right, let's see. D20 is where you at. <laughs> Does a natural 20 hit you, Riley? What? No, I'm kidding. I was going to say, seriously? <laughs> My hand is about as inching towards the towards my blade, but if he's not pulling his, I mean, I, I think this guy may notice that. So please, please don't. <laughs> I don't want to be. I'm locked. doing more like the thing, you know, hands on hip, right above the, you know, putting my hands on my hips. Yeah, yeah. I just, I'm, I'm just like this, Eldridge Blast ready, but not, not really. <laughs> And you, Miss Cleo, can confirm his story? Yes. They have better memory than I do. Mm. Christopher says that you left the albatross earlier today. Where'd you go? Me, personally, to the market. Get anything while you were there? No, because I got pulled away before. Go ahead and roll a persuasion check, please. I didn't get anything. <laughs> Check my bag. Maybe. Uh, persuasion. Wow. Awful. 11 for the person that's supposed to have high charisma. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I'm not lying. No, you're not. No. You're actually okay. Uh, the DC for this was an 11. <laughs> Between all of you. You're on the shit list, Riley, again. <laughs> I'm a good guy, I swear. <laughs> why am I... Why do people not trust me? I don't know. I mean, they've been nothing but trustworthy with us. I think I'm just... Awkward. As far as I know. 
It's okay. I'll uh, I'll make it up to this guy somehow. You uh, by asking like him how found... he got those scars. <laughs> 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 know how I got these scars, boy. Pretty good story there. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually quite interested after reading the bestiary to understand. Um, well, also maybe a little fearful to learn about how he got those scars. You uh, proceed to give him the details of your stories uh, several times. The fact that you're not able to add anyone's name to the mix, Riley, does not help yours. Uh, and he writes I mean, them down. I I could also explain that I'm sure there were witnesses seeing me go into my room and being mm-hmm. there for quite a bit of the day and mm-hmm. not leaving until the guard found me at my room. Mm-hmm. You make that case, and that does help it a little bit. Um, you had a 25 and a nine, correct? Yeah. You get closer to the 25. <laughs> uh, but after repeating the story a few times. Oh, fuck. What do you Momoa know? Momoa says that you people didn't seem like the type who would break anyone out of the prison. I was hoping for something easy. You were hoping. And oh, he puts hoping... down the axe. And sits down in this chair that's clearly too small for him. What do you think happened? I guess you think we did it, but clearly that's not the case. What do you think? Do you have any other theories on what happened? Do you, are there any tracks that... Or anything... Uh, any clues? Perhaps it's best I just show you. Okay. Show us. And he gets up out of this chair, grabs his axe, holding on to it closely, and he leads you out uh, and into the jail cell. Hey, pretty lady, how are you doing? You don't have to hang out, Captain Lothar. I'll show you what a real man can do. Uh, He is blitzed. Uh, and he's actually staring at a cell wall as he's yelling this. Oh, he's not yelling at, at Cleo, huh? He might be, honestly. He's so crooked so, in the head. That... Not a reliable witness, then. Got not it. a reliable <laughs> witness. All right. Is he drunk or crazy? Make oh. an inside check. Uh, no idea. <laughs> I don't remember. Let's see. I don't think that's... Yeah, that's a two on the die. That's a two on the die. You've seen this character drunk before uh, uh, several nights now, I believe, as you've been here for two, three nights? Oh, no. Two days, actually. So, yeah, you've seen him drunk during the morning, during the evening, and here he is drunk again the next day in a holding cell. Same alcohol or different alcohol? Hanging about this kava drink that you know <laughs> you might look into going to a bar and finding you some. It sounds delicious. If this oh guy's... God, don't touch that stuff. <laughs> I can't imagine you'd like it. It's a drink of sailors. You're a bit more sophisticated than that. A drink of semen it is. <laughs> it might wake up Jeremiah though. Uh, I bet you you spit. Yeah, we... You don't swallow, <laughs> do you? <laughs> Is he talking to me? He is talking to you. Oh, I thought he was looking at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> talking to the wall. I just, wait. He, so what do you say? I don't swallow at all? <laughs> There's a drink of semen. I bet you you spit, you don't swallow. <laughs> How do you know I just don't bite off your dick? Whoa. That's pretty aggressive. That lady is cold and quite aggressive. He immediately sobers up. <laughs> Both are just like, uh, <laughs> it just looks like it. And he's like, ladies, through here, just ignore him. Thank you. Ignore <laughs> this, Lothar! It, do I, I want to look on, 
I'm looking on is it's a four though, right? So there really isn't going to accumulate any tracks or anything like that, is there? You are looking at the floor of the stock yeah. as you walk there. Um, Give me an investigation check. Or survival, I suppose, in this case. Yeah. For tracks. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and I had the nat 20, and now everything else is just shite. So that's not even a 10. That's a three plus survival. So that's seven. Seven. <laughs> Yeah, you look down at the ground and you're paying attention to the tracks and there are quite a few of them and then, oh, sh uh, you stepped in something and judging by the drunk guy in the tank, it looks like it's a uh, uh, twice used kava. Hmm. Scrape that off on the flagstones there. Zeb's in the corner watching. <laughs> All right. And go sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Lothar leads you to the cells. Uh, and uh, you guys did not enter this part. It was only uh, Bran. So this is entirely new to you, but there are uh, six cells in total. Um, Oh, no, I apologize. Three cells in total. You can tell from the windows. You can see the uh, hangman's noose, uh, the gallows uh, in the distance. And you can kind of put two and together that the uh, convicts, the crew in this case, uh, had plenty of time to watch as this thing was being built uh, and plenty of time to think about it as they sat in their cells. Um But as you enter in, and Lothar shows you the room, you see the flagstone floor um, of the cell itself has been broken up. And whoever or, or whatever dug it up has created this area of uh, tilled soil about three feet in diameter. I came in early on them and saw them in the morning. Told them we'd hear your case later this evening. Went back home to rest for a little bit. And when I came back, they were missing. And their cell was like this. Can I make an investigation check on this? Feel free to. You can go in the cell and... Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's a lot better. Uh, I think that's, let's see. Uh, oh, 20. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Yep. You walk into the cell and examining it, yes, this ground is fairly soft. You can kind of push your hand into it. Um, there's no no tunnel buried into it, however, but it is very soft earth. Um, and you notice that there is a dark splattering of something on the black back wall. And if you yep, have yep, a yep, light yep. brought in, it's blood. And there's no like blood trail leaving the cell, right? There does not appear to be a blood trail leaving the cell, although your survival was awful. Um... Well, now I get a starting point to try again. Um, j just wondering, by the amount of blood that's there, um, can we infer if it was potentially a, a deadly wound or how large of a, a wound that's it potentially was? That's a good was? question. Uh, would you like a medicine check? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Uh, Twelve. It's a decent amount of blood, but um, 
Are you proficient in medicine or no? Uh, no. You're not sure. It's a decent amount of blood, but I mean, anyone can walk off that much blood, you think. I mean, oh. they're going to be limping away, but... Okay. Does the blood lead towards the pile of dirt? Give me your investigation check. Alrighty. Uh, 22. 22? Yeah. You go along in there with Anja. Notice that the ground is soft. And every once in a while, you move your hands through a bit of dirt that clings to your finger with a sticky residue. Yeah. Okay, so the blood is in the dirt as well, likely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Well, that's good to know. Um, how far can you push your hand down in there? Just wondering. Like How far? How, how far? A couple inches. Oh, Not just... far. Not far. It's soft tilled earth and... If you push, you compact the earth. So it's not like there's a tunnel or a hole down in there. So can I uh, do like an Arcana check or maybe Yog Sothri check to see if this is a potential like spell or ritual that let them uh, do this? That require them to use blood or, or just in general? There's no marks or runes or anything, right? You in do not the blood? see marks or runes it's with just a either blood. of your investigation checks. Otherwise, I mean, if we're discussing this, I could give you advantage on Yog Sot to run either, probably. Um, also, hey, Lothar, do you need any help in there? <laughs> also, while we're, while we're at it, um, I'm gonna detect magic just uh, just for shits and giggles. You uh, detect no magic. Okay. Even I just wondering, even on Lothar, his axe, anything? <laughs> oh, his axe is uh, very magical. Anything else on Lothar? Just wondering. Nothing else on Lothar. Okay, cool. Well, that's that. I guess can't really do anything else. Um, I'm going to ask Lothar. Uh, so. With this hole, are, do you have plans to explore any further, like to dig down there or something? What What is your next steps in the investigation? Just wondering. Mm, honestly, I don't think the guard are going to investigate any further. Sailors disappear all the time. Do oh. you know if they're alive or dead? I can make something disappear! <laughs> <laughs> I think his brain disappeared a long time ago. Or maybe he went insane with whatever he saw. That's just Zeb. He's obnoxious and drunk and mostly harmless if you just ignore him. So he's always like this. Every Tuesday, he's not. But Tuesday. Uh, that's his sober day. That's where he earns his uh, chip. He turns it in the next morning. I like to wake up to you in the morning! Um, I'm going to try again. So now I know like where the blood came from. I want to see if there's any more blood that's leading out. Um, looking around, you don't see any blood going out of the cells. The blood is on the back of the wall and in wow. the dirt itself. Where the hell did everyone I'll go? Chat. Chat. Insight isn't really for that. Wisdom? Investigation? You are trying to turn up specific information? 
Well, based on the situation, I'm thinking that something popped up from the ground and took them down mm -hmm. versus them trying to get out of the cell. Because if they were trying to get out of the cell, they probably would have tried that sooner, I think, if they had the means to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. I think that something came from the ground. And the fact that, I guess Riley wouldn't know this, but Anja would know that there are lava tubes and stuff under the city or at least mm -hmm. that's what what's his face said well, it's kind of a logical leap considering there's a sure. volcano uh, right there too it's, and it's, it's not really riley you would know that there are various giant insects that do uh make their home in the lava tubes you have a bestiary specifically of farzine uh creatures um so you would have gotten references to these lava tubes there are uh beetles bugs that are known to kind of dig up um and kind of snare their prey from down below that's interesting so when i was exploring the city did i notice mm -hmm. that all, a lot of the houses were maybe they're raised up or a lot of the bedrooms were at least up on the second floor likely because you did say that I saw a lot of goddess of light, you know, shrines in the windows. So I assume some of the windows were open. Could I infer that some bedrooms were maybe higher up and that this is actually like multi-layered city um, first floor usually, but there are some two story houses. Uh, near so the that, that didn't really stand out in particular. Okay. No. No. Um, and I mean, as you kind of think, Oh, was it maybe some insects or something? You just hear Zeb. If you come in here, there's no insects in here. I can promise you that. And Lothar at that point is just like, let's go back to the office and I will answer any more questions you have. And he leads you out back into the office. Uh, but yes, um, from reading the Beast Jerry, those are the kind of creatures on the island that you know would dig. Uh, did you want uh, another check? Anything else to kind of dig out what it could possibly be? Mm. So, was there anything else, like any, um, just like anything in the cell, like if there was an insect maybe like chitin from its shell or 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 something that would may indicate that it was there there was no chitin okay was there anything uh, else though that was a very specific question though. that was a very specific question there was nothing else other than upturned dirt knocked over flagstones blood splatter on the wall some of it in the uh, uh ground itself i mean okay. there was no tunnel going down is there anything that may be coming off to the sides well, it stopped after a couple inches. Straight That's straight down. I'm mm -hmm. thinking, I mean, granted, I don't know what the hell could possibly fit two inches. Uh, not really like a gopher hole or anything like yeah. that. Okay. Dirt was disturbed and then kind of filled back in. Cool. And uh, then... yeah, the, the, what maybe there was a tunnel and now there isn't anymore. I mean, it sounds like possibly. If we need this crew to be able to get off the island, we need to probably explore these lava tubes. That's what it seems like. And I'm going to share with Anja and Cleo what I know about the bugs and insects that do, you know, potentially live in the lava tubes that I read about in the bestiary. And I'm, I'm going to fill them in what I'm thinking that maybe they were taken by insects and are in the lava tubes as potential food. Mm -hmm. That's one theory, but the fact that they potentially went underground means that even if it wasn't insects, lava tube kind of makes sense as the first place to explore. I mean, yeah. it does. As you are discussing this, you know, Lothar kind of nods and said in agreement, yeah, there's creatures that do that. I don't think it's probably one of those insects, though. And, and what makes you say that? You can... What do you think it is? Could be a few things, but not much that I know of. And insight checks. Okay. And out in the distance, you hear Zeb 
still screaming his profanities. No, and it sounds seven. like he's actually starting to scream right now or sing. Riley. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Yeah, no, he is dodging a question when he's Oh, and is yeah. Man, what is up with this town? They don't want to investigate when people go missing, but everyone kind of kind of knows. We, I assume we're gonna go back to a tad to um, Port of Call and talk. Um. And basically, I'll spill. I'll give you. I'll share with you what I know. I think we should also include Bran in this discussion. Yeah. Um. But I think it is a good idea. That it's getting late in the day. Let's let's sleep on it tonight, and then we'll bright and early tomorrow. Get all four of us together and and discuss how we want to approach this. As we walk away out of earshot from anybody. I'm You're in an office say, with Captain Lotharm. No, yeah. we're, I, and, assume, I assume we're going to head out. Yes, Aven- as eventually. you are yeah. about to head out, Captain Lotharm. Look, I'm interested in what happened to your friends, and I hope you find them. Go over to the hammer later today, and I'll tell you what you need. And in the middle of his sentence... You hear screams oh, shit. coming from Zeb's drunk tank. And we will end the show tonight with that. Uh, guys, this has been Cred, uh, the enormous lore dump that Riley didn't get to take part in. Uh, guys, you can follow us on Twitch. You can follow us on Twitter. If you want to take a look at our YouTube archive, you can do that. If you want to chat it with us on Discord, feel free to do that. I will tell you all the secrets. No yellow question marks involved unless you really want to know. Uh, and if you're interested in playing, uh, replacing Bran or or Cleo when she doesn't feel like showing up. Uh, <laughs> hey. Play uh, bananas. You can email us at mhoboinc at gmail.com. Uh, hit us up, join in one of our one shops as, you know, kind of a prep and we'll see how well you do. Uh, if you want to buy some cool stitch, you can do it at the tiny URL or you can check out our podcast. Guys, Murder Hobo Inc. Con is coming up in yeah. less than two weeks. Sign up for that. Get your badges. Join in on some awesome stuff. Help us murder hobo cancer. Uh, our wonderful sponsors, I believe, are still taking part in that. Uh, and if not, they do sponsor our show. Pirate Dog Dice took our cool dice rolling needs and Adventure Sense Odd Fish Games with all their cool stuff. Check them out. Uh, hey, guys. Hey, hey, Kyle, by the way, hey. we have a we do have another sponsor for the con, and that's Madith Productions. <gasps> Madith Productions? Well, yep. they didn't send me any free stuff, so I'm not going to talk to them yet. Uh, uh, thank you, Madith Productions. Uh, guys, uh, we will see you in a couple of weeks, but stay tuned. Not tonight, uh, but for <laughs> Saturday night, uh, there is going to be some calamity going on in the house. Watch that. Be entertained by the crazy folks over there. Uh, other than that, wave to the camera. Good night, everybody. Bye. Just imagining the horrible screams coming from down the hall. <laughs>